Hi friends, the, one of the biggest applications of AI is in the field of healthcare where it has tremendous potential and tremendous possibilities to impact everyone's life. Just to give you an example, uh, you might have heard about AlphaFold 2 which is a phenomenal research leap that has been made by the DeepMind team at Google recently. And this team has, has been working on this problem for a few years. This is the second version of the alpha fold algorithm and this algorithm can predict the structure of various proteins. And you might say, hey, what is the use of the structure of the protein? Because once you know the geometric structure, the three dimensional structure of the protein, then you can study a lot of its properties and you can design medicines faster and more efficiently for a wider spectrum of medical conditions. And of course, uh, AlphaFold 2 is a computational tool which makes it much, much faster to, to, to arrive at the geometric structure of the protein, unlike using physics-based techniques or, or medical technology. That takes a lot more money and a lot more time. Because AlphaFold 2 is a deep learning based algorithm and it can be run on thousands of servers simultaneously, Google is planning to launch or is going to share publicly the structures of hundreds of millions of proteins in the next few months. They've already started this process. They've already published protein structures of more than 300,000 proteins. And imagine having the structure of every protein in the world or on earth that will have huge impact in terms of diagnosing, most importantly, in designing medicines for a wide spectrum of problems. And even in the long term, the, the possibilities are endless, literally. Now, if you think about AlphaFold 2, at its very core, it has basically a transformer based model called an EvoFormer. Of course, there is a lot of domain specific stuff that is also there in AlphaFold 2. There is also a part called a structure modeling and things like that. But if you think of AlphaFold 2 itself, it is a transformer based model with a lot of domain specific, by which I mean the protein structure specific and biology specific modifications to the, to, to the core model itself by adding more layers or by adding new structures like a structure model, right? So that, that's very impressive. Now, having said that, there are many other applications of AI in healthcare. For example, you can look at medical image diagnosis. You can take X-rays, MRI scans, even simple photographs using your smartphone of, of your skin or of your eye and things like that. And there are convolution neural network or deep learning based techniques today that can diagnose almost as well as a doctor. And oftentimes they're used to help doctors diagnose better and faster. And this can bring down the cost of diagnosis enormously for a wide spectrum of medical imaging problems. Because there is a scarcity of radiologists, there is a scarcity of medical image diagnosis experts and doctors who can do it fast. Now, having said that, it's not just images and protein folding. There are also tons of applications on medical text or research papers. For example, in some parts of the world like Europe and US, you have electronic health records. That's a treasure trove of text data and tabular data. There are tons of research papers. And imagine if you're a doctor, you can't read all the research papers, but can you find answers from these research papers for questions by a NLP or a, or a text processing deep learning system that can find relevant answers. Similarly, there is ton of data in tabular form in clinical trials, right? So for all these problems, there is a lot of classical machine learning and also state of the art NLP transformers that are used extensively for these problems. So for example, in our diploma program in the second semester, after we learn the foundations of deep learning algorithms from the very basics to the state of the art transformers, we will go through a bunch of case studies and also live sessions where we will try to expose you to some of these problems and how these problems are solved on actual real world data. So we will solve problems across medical imaging, medical text data and also tabular data. And since the diploma program is also an academic program in collaboration with a top research university, we will also cover some cutting edge algorithms like the AlphaFold 2, both from research as well as academic perspective, in addition to the applied perspective. And for that, we'll collaborate with actual faculty members at various universities who are experts in the domain or industry experts who, who understand those problems in a lot of detail. So if you're interested more in our diploma program, you can find all the details at AppliedRoots.com.